Preston Memorial Hospital offers four locations in Preston County to complete your laboratory tests. Our friendly, qualified staff is happy to serve you in Kingwood, Reedsville, Fellowsville, and now our newest location in Brewston Mills at the Brewston Mills Medical Center, where no appointment is necessary as walk-ins are welcome on Mondays from 7 to 5, Tuesdays through Thursday from 7 to 3.30 and 7 to 11 on Fridays. For directions or questions, give us a call at 304-379-1103. From humble beginnings, Stone Paving has emerged as one of the premier paving companies in the region. Stone Paving has been doing business for nearly 20 years and provides asphalt paving services to residential, commercial, and highway customers. They're pre-qualified with the West Virginia Department of Highways and have a history of meeting the most demanding schedules. Stone Paving has equipment and personnel that can complete any project, and they're committed to providing quality service at a competitive price. When you're planning your next project, call Stone Paving. Become part of the family at Preston Family Pharmacy. It's not just their name, it's their philosophy. They treat you like family. Whether you've just left the hospital or a routine checkup, make Preston Family Pharmacy your neighborhood pharmacy your next stop. The friendly professional staff at Preston Family Pharmacy will make sure that you get the time and attention you deserve for all your pharmacy needs. Preston Family Pharmacy is currently accepting all patients. Preston Family Pharmacy, Route 7 across from Walmart, Kingwood. They'll take care of you like family. Hi, Kent and Melissa with Dell Owners Furniture. For nearly 50 years, our family store has been known for low prices, great customer service, and quality home furnishings. Our nationwide low price guarantee means you'll save more on name brands like Catnapper, Best, Von Bassett, Serta, Franklin, and the Almost Heaven Mattress Collection made right here in West Virginia. If you want to spend more at an overpriced big furniture store, that's your business. But at Delano's, our business is to save you money. So come in and see for yourself and experience the, the Delano's, Delano's difference. difference. One, hut two, hut three. Buck! What do you think you're doing? I'm just trying to teach these ladies how to play football. You leave those girls alone and get back to work. But they want to play. Bye, Buck! You better get in there and get my winter treads on and check my brakes and change the oil. We have to get to the Preston High football game, you fool! Rainbow Tire, the tire lady takes care of me. Brown's Mill Grocery invites you to stop by for anything you might need. If you're looking for a quick bite, Brown's Mill has buffet-style pizza, fresh subs, and cold drinks. Fill up your tank and your car's tank, too, with quality gasoline. Snacks, cold drinks, gasoline, anything you might need, you'll find at Brown's Mill Grocery. Brown's Mill Grocery at the corner of the Dogtown Road and Route 92. We look forward to seeing you soon at Brown's Mill Grocery. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Knights Stadium on the mountaintop here in Kingwood, where your Preston Knights return home to take on the Washington High Patriots from Jefferson County, West Virginia. Hi, I'm Steve Blake here with the whole crew tonight uh, on the mountaintop. Fall has descended. It's a beautiful, crisp football evening here in Preston County, and we wouldn't have it any other way. We're glad you tuned in uh, as we get set to get this one underway, and the night's just coming down the hill uh, a moment ago and set to get things started here uh, as the officials huddle on the uh, big logo at midfield. It is a beautiful night for high school football here in West Virginia. Once again, Preston taking on the Patriots of Washington High, a relatively new school over there in Jefferson County, been around for a few years now, going into about their 12th year of existence as uh, the population burgeoned over there and uh, they had need of uh, more uh, educational facilities. Built a very, very nice school over there and uh, immediately jumped right into AAA with about 1,200 students. Um, and they've established themselves uh, as, a, as an up-and-coming team uh, athletically on the football field. Um, again, a little bit down this season, but a lot of junior and senior leadership on this team. Um, they've got a good quarterback that uh, we'll hear more about as things go along here tonight. Um, but a uh, young man is accounting for over 100 yards of offense um, with both his arms 
and his legs. Uh, he's a dual threat um, and much more likely to pull the ball down and run than some of the uh, signal callers we faced so far this season. So Preston may have their hands full here um, just a little bit uh, to get things going. But the Knights, although down themselves a little bit this season at uh, coming in at one and five and a little disappointed at that record, um, hopeful of being a little better than that at this point. But uh, getting into the uh, latter half of the season here, they've got some opportunities, and tonight is one of them. Again, Washington coming in with two wins, four losses on the season, and uh, their early season uh, looked like this, an opening four-point 34-30 victory over Hedgesville. Um, then they drop a game by 27-0 uh, to Spring Mills, uh, a heartbreaker. Uh, a one-point 27-26 loss to uh, North Hagerstown out of Maryland. Uh, then they hung 50 points against a goose egg on Parkview. So this team, a little bit um, not schizophrenic, but uh, you never know quite what you'll get. Knights are ready, and they put the ball in the air here, and we are underway in Kingwood. Preston will need to uh, stand strong here in the early going. They want to uh, avoid a situation where they give up uh, too many points early on in a contest that uh, uh, so that they don't have to play from behind. Not, uh, not a good situation when the Knights have had to play from behind. Uh, here in the early going this year. Um, so they will try to avoid that at all cost here, come out strong, and uh, with the ball uh, near the 37-yard uh, line, it is first and 10 for the Patriots, and we'll get this one underway. Working out of the shotgun. And a scrum just over midfield as uh, both teams. Fighting hard there. The ball carrier uh, struggling forward. And The line to gain was just about the 49-yard line, and uh, he did so. Brings up another first down. So first first down uh, on the initial play from scrimmage for Washington. And they'll go back to work. Ball low on the ground now. A uh, little miscue. And the Knights almost able to get in there and take advantage of that uh, as that ball trickled back from the center. Uh, bouncing and rolling around. And uh, Frankie Amore, the uh, talented quarterback, had to drop down, batted it between his feet, and uh, finally saved by uh, the running back who uh, fell on that ball. So that will bring up a second down and 17. And we get a whistle and a stop in play as laundry on the field here early. Encroachment by the Knights. We'll take this ball back over the 50-yard line, just about to the 49. Uh, and that will bring up. A second and about ten and a half. Okay. 
Preston now with a good opportunity, third and 12. And the Patriots, uh, not a team that likes to uh, have these long third down situations. They have not been real successful. And again, we get a flag. And the Patriots shoot themselves in the foot this time with a false start. Good defensive play by the Knights as they get pressure on Amore and the ball falls incomplete, bringing up a fourth and 18. Just over nine minutes on the clock here. And it'll be uh, fourth down. And the punt team on the field for Washington as the Knights get ready to receive the ball for the first time this evening. High snap. They're having a little bit of trouble with the long snapping tonight. And uh, good job by the punter reeling that one in. And he will get it away uh, spiraling down around the 35-yard line across the way. That ball out of bounds, uh, and the Knights will have it. To get things started, pretty good field position to get things underway for Preston. Their first offensive series of the evening, and uh, hopefully uh, they can avoid mistakes and uh, get off to a quick start here and get a sustained drive going. Hard charging run up the middle by the Knights. Should move the sticks. That'll bring up a second and short as the official will spot it at a gain of about seven. So they set it back just a little bit. The Knights with a uh, second and short. A lot of options to work with here, but uh, if they can just keep running this ball successfully right now, that's uh, where they want to go. Off tackle out over the 35 on to about the 36-yard line. Preston will garner the net yardage needed, and they've got the first down now. So first and ten. Knights getting the drive going here. 7.40 on a turning first quarter clock as we welcome you into the fold here in Kingwood. And the Knights have the running attack in gear here early. Up over the 50, down to the 45, on inside the 40, and another big first down for Preston as they will move the sticks here. And uh, the officials stop the clock briefly, and then they'll get it going once again. Winding things as uh, the Knights move the ball all the way to the Washington 37 yard line with that run. Straight back now, ball in the air and a receiver down there. The pass incomplete. Second and 
Rosenberger down there just couldn't quite get the finger on that ball uh, uh, enough to reel it in. Uh, but close on the play, and the Knights certainly had the right play dialed up in the uh, playbook as uh, Rosenberger broke open across the middle there and uh, was all set to take that one to the house if he could have just brought it in. Looks like encroachment now, uh, but we'll have to see what the officials say. As the flag comes out. Going to be a procedure call against the Knights, so that'll back Preston up five, taking the ball back out to about the 42-yard line. Knights will have a third down now with the ball uh, nosing the 48-yard line now. Moving in the wrong direction here, uh, Preston. Third and 22 will be the distance needed here. And quickly down the far sideline. And that ball is going to be out of bounds. So Thomas with the long pass on the right sideline over there. Couldn't quite hook up. And that's the second pass and the second incompletion for Preston. And it'll bring up a fourth down. Wobbly kick in the air, bounding on the far sideline, and the Patriots back away. They'll let that go out of bounds, and they'll have pretty good field position to start their second possession. That ball uh, bobbling around down there, nobody wanted to touch it. And it trickled out of bounds uh, across the way, right in front of the Patriot bench. Um, where they'll have the ball first and 10 at about their own 25, about their own 28-yard line. Sweep to the near side, and it's a Moray on the run, and you can see why the young quarterback is dangerous uh, with his footwork there. Got the corner and then uh, just put the Jets, uh, lit the Jets and uh, – down the sideline he went. To the deepest penetration in tonight territory so far for uh, Washington as they get the nose of the ball up against the 23-yard line, almost in the red zone now. And the Knights looking to stand up strong here and uh, get a stop. Quick opener uh, to the near side. And the Patriots will push that ball inside the 20-yard line down to about the 18 and a half. Fish off with a nice tackle for Preston. And that will bring up a second down and about eight yards. Washington quickly out of the huddle. Two backs to the right. Amore. And the laundry comes out. Offside 
is a first down for the Patriots. That's a nice shot, David, or down here on your end. So the penalty will back the Patriots up, making it second and 18 now. And Amore will try the far side and rolled out of bounds across the way over there. Amore, the ball carrier for the Patriots. Flag on the play. And we have another flag. And the penalty is indeed against Washington. So the official will march that off uh, from the spot of the foul. That'll take it back outside the 20 once again. And now uh, You like that sweep to the near side with Amore running the ball, and at the end of it, once again, we've got flags flying. Stinson with the uh, stop on the play here on the near side. I didn't see what the infraction was, but the official quick with the flag there. And that penalty against the Patriots. Clock will wind now as Amore comes from the far side with the play here. Quickly in and back out of the huddle, and the Patriots up to the line here. Less than 10 seconds on the play clock, so they got to get it in gear here. Uh, look for a quick snap, and quarterback keeper as uh, he barrels forward here into the line and uh, makes a little bit of headway back down near the 20-yard line. But uh, the Patriots stuck in a little bit of quicksand here. They just keep uh, spinning their wheels and covering the same territory. Clock turns down toward the three-minute mark of the first period. And, uh, again, they use most of that play clock, and they'll uh, take it to the left, and Amore will cut it up inside. Trying to follow the block there. And Brendan Naoki with a nice uh, tackle as he cut through uh, the lead block there and uh, brought the quarterback down. Quickly moving first period here as these two teams have kept the ball for the most part earthbound. Third and 18 now. And we've got a flag and a stop in play. So a false start will back it up five. And again, uh, they shoot themselves in the foot just a little bit, and you begin to see uh, that this Patriot team has some talent and some athleticism, but... Uh, some of the mental mistakes that they've made here early in this contest uh, show you what's been the uh, genesis of their undoing in the games that they've lost. Now 
Morey with the carry there. Out on the far side and uh, the Patriots will elect to attempt the field goal here. This is going to be uh, a field goal attempt of about uh, 27, 28, about 38 yards. And it's going to be online but fall short. So a good defensive stand by the Knights, aided by uh, several sort of miscues and mental mistakes that led to penalties uh, that kept the Patriots uh, tied up outside the 20-yard line for much of that drive. And uh, with a minute and uh, 47 seconds remaining, Preston will take over first and 10. Still a nothing, nothing score here in Kingwood, and we thank you for tuning in on Hometown TV. Coming to the near side and escorted out of bounds is Colton Rosenberger. He'll pick up a couple uh, hard-fought yards there. Second down for Preston. Stacked up as they tried the middle that time. And that'll bring up third and about eight for Preston. Knight's taking a little bit of time in the huddle there to get everything straight. Play clock inside five now. And as it winds down to one, they get it away. Not quite enough room to maneuver there. And Preston will be forced on fourth down to punt this ball. From around the 10-yard line, the kick will come. Uh, short, wobbly punt, bounding down the sidelines near midfield. And that's going to go out of bounds, out at about the... 47-yard line of Preston. So Knights could have perhaps wished for a little bit more yardage there on the punt. And with about 10 seconds on the clock, uh, remaining in the first period here, the Patriots will get one play off and the opening stanza will be uh, history. A nothing-nothing score here in Kingwood. And Amore moving with the pile down inside. Night territory down near the 40-yard line, so a pickup of about seven on first down. And when we return from these messages, it'll be second and three. So we'll be back. Right after this on Hometown TV with more Preston Knight football. 
Recent studies have shown that people who complete a cardiac rehabilitation program can increase their life expectancy by up to five years. Preston Memorial Hospital's cardiac rehab team helps you begin and maintain a treatment plan that works for you. They offer education and support to make healthy lifestyle changes that fit your needs. We're here to help you live longer and enjoy life. Most insurance plans are accepted. Please contact your doctor or our cardiac rehab center at 304-329-3429. From humble beginnings, Stone Paving has emerged as one of the premier paving companies in the region. Stone Paving has been doing business for nearly 20 years and provides asphalt paving services to residential, commercial, and highway customers. They're pre-qualified with the West Virginia Department of Highways and have a history of meeting the most demanding schedules. Stone Paving has equipment and personnel that can complete any project, and they're committed to providing quality service at a competitive price. When you're planning your next project, call Stone Paving. Hi, Kent and Melissa with Dell and his Furniture. For nearly 50 years, our family store has been known for low prices, great customer service, and quality home furnishings. Our nationwide low price guarantee means you'll save more on name brands like Catnapper, Best, Von Bassett, Serta, Franklin, and the Almost Heaven Mattress Collection made right here in West Virginia. If you want to spend more at an overpriced big furniture store, that's your business. But at Delano's, our business is to save you money. So come in and see for yourself and experience the, the Delano's, Delano's difference. difference. Become part of the family at Preston Family Pharmacy. It's not just their name, it's their philosophy. They treat you like family. Whether you've just left the hospital or a routine checkup, make Preston Family Pharmacy your neighborhood pharmacy your next stop. The friendly professional staff at Preston Family Pharmacy will make sure that you get the time and attention you deserve for all your pharmacy needs. Preston Family Pharmacy is currently accepting all patients. Preston Family Pharmacy, Route 7 across from Walmart, Kingwood. They'll take care of you like family. Brown's Mill Grocery invites you to stop by for anything you might need. If you're looking for a quick bite, Brown's Mill has buffet-style pizza, fresh subs, and cold drinks. Fill up your tank and your car's tank, too, with quality gasoline. Snacks, cold drinks, gasoline, anything you might need, you'll find at Brown's Mill Grocery. Brown's Mill Grocery at the corner of the Dogtown Road and Route 92. We look forward to seeing you soon at Brown's Mill Grocery. Hut one, hut two, hut three. Buck! What do you think you're doing? I'm just trying to teach these ladies how to play football. You leave those girls alone and get back to work. But they want to play. Bye, bye. You better get in there and get my winter treads on and check my brakes and change the oil. We have to get to the Preston High football game, you fool. Rainbow Tire, the tire lady takes care of me. We return to Kingwood. Second quarter action just about to get underway here on the mountaintop. And again, we thank you for tuning in to Hometown TV, wherever you might be watching on the uh, Atlantic Broadband cable system or out there on the Internet, uh, courtesy of uh, our YouTube feed, wherever you might be. We thank you for your support of Preston Knight Varsity Football and these broadcasts, and uh, certainly thank the sponsors that have made that possible all season long. As uh, things wind along uh, all too quickly uh, when it comes to football, uh, just five uh, home games, and uh, this is game number four at home for Preston. They'll have one more against University High, but three more great quarters of football here tonight uh, to get things going. Uh, the Knights will be on defense, and the Patriots will put it in gear here second and seven and that ball rolling on the ground again back to Amore as uh, we get the second period started. Third down and five now. And the Knights put it together in the backfield. 
in a big way. Hunter Lance got in there and got the party started, and uh, he was joined by a cadre of uh, black-suited knights. And the Knights will send Rosenberger back to receive the punt now as uh, on fourth and 15, the Patriots with a high kick. Spirals down and uh, Rosenberger with a, a quick grab there and tried to elude the first tackler. Could not uh, quite do so. So Preston will put the ball in play at their own 14-yard line here. And the Patriots doing a pretty nice job of stringing things out. Loss of about four on the play is going to bring up second down and about 14. And the Knights looking to get a drive going here. See if they can repeat some of the success they had in the first period and keep it going a little longer. Pass out to the near side here. And Thomas, again, just off the mark on the sideline with that one. It's uh, incomplete. And neither team has had much luck in the air here. That'll stop the clock with 9.38 remaining in first half play. And Thomas facing a third and 14. Dropping back, rolling to the near side. He's going to fire that. All right, the Patriots managed to come up with that on the near side down there, right in front of the night bench. Difficult for us to see uh, the action in great detail right there, but uh, coming out of the pile there, uh, coming out of the scrum, the Patriots with that ball, so they've got a first and 10 now, once again, deep in night territory. So Preston once again with their backs against the wall here. Need to make a great defensive stand. Keep these uh, Washington Patriots uh, turned away from the goal line. Pick up of three will make it second down. And it'll be second and seven as they come up to the ball. And get ready to put it in play here. Clock turning inside 8.50 now of the first half. And Washington. Give that time to Jones and uh, 
The Knights are going to take a timeout now after that uh, after that stop. So Preston with 8.21 remaining in the half, facing uh, facing a Patriot team that will need five yards to pick up the first down. And the Knights with their backs against the uh, goal line here as the uh, nose of the ball just outside the seven. So the big defensive play on the pickoff giving uh, Washington their best field position by far and uh, their best opportunity here at a first half score uh, as they come uh, out of the huddle on the heels of that timeout. And trying to get that ball out wide, and we've got flags laundering the field everywhere. It looks like a hold against the Patriots, one of the linemen with a little extra grab there of the jersey. And trying to create some space. And with the stop, I believe the Knights are going to decline. The penalty and bring up a fourth down if I'm uh, not mistaken about that. And great pursuit from the back side. Hunter Lance just charging in there off the edge. So the Knights stand up and take possession. Pickup of about five on the play. It'll be second and five. And coming to the near side, out over the 20 yard line. Pick up the first down. Preston on first and 10 now. Taylor with the delayed handoff and breaking through the middle. And down across midfield before the flags come out. Job. 
penalty against the Knights. Will nullify a portion of that gain. All right, Preston coming to the near side here with six and a half to go in the first half and uh, feeling much better about the uh, position that they're in here, uh, getting this ball out near midfield. And a golden opportunity to get a drive going here to uh, take a little more time off this first half clock and go into the uh, locker room, hopefully, uh, with a lead. Washington coming out firing uh, pretty well, but making some mental mistakes here tonight. Uh, good running team. Um, neither, uh, neither squad here tonight showing us a lot in the passing department early. But Preston can get that untracked in a heartbeat. Waiting for the official to set the ball. And they'll wind the clock and get things going here once again. So first and ten for the Knights. And it'll be a short game. Not a lot going on up front for uh, Preston on that play. And so a gain of a scant yard, it'll be second and about nine. And that's a long nine from the eye. And it looks like uh, Preston going to lose a little yardage. Brings up third down for the night. And so, once again, faced with a third and long situation. So it'll be third and 15 as the Knights break the huddle. Looking for some place to go with this ball, maybe over the middle. And out quick, a nice quick release, but double coverage down there. Uh, is that ball intended for Rosenberger on the far side? And uh, he was in full stride there, but well defended uh, by a couple of Patriots. Uh, back there and not really any good opportunity to make a play on that ball. So with uh, 449 on a turning clock, Preston set to punt it away here on fourth down. A high bounding rolling punt that'll roll dead it around the 31 yard line. With four and a half remaining in the first half of play here. So again, the Knights gonna bull their necks and, and uh, put some steel in their uh, spines and stand up here. See if they can get a three and out and uh, stay on this end of the field, maybe make a big defensive play. But first and ten for the Washington Patriots here. He 
And they're going to come to the near side. And again, it's Amore. And he's got the wheels. He's going to take that down the sideline. We saw the breakaway uh, by him earlier. And on one play from scrimmage here, Amore shows just why he's uh, a stat leader for this Washington squad. Uh, young man has uh, got some moves and uh, got some speed when he breaks into the open. Uh, and he just flat ran that one down the sidelines past everybody. No flags, no penalties. Washington with six on the board. And they will look to put another one up. No. So with four minutes and 16 seconds remaining in the first half, the Knights trail six to nothing. And the officials will... Uh, Get set, give this ball uh, back to Preston. The uh, Patriots will tee it up, kick it back to the Knights. One more opportunity in the first half here to get something going. And 4-16 four, on the clock, plenty of time for Preston to get a drive together here. Got to uh, bear down a little bit and uh, get their timing a little better on the pass. Uh, I think they have run the ball fairly well here uh, in the early going, enough so that they can uh, they can open up the pass routes if uh, they can just get the timing down a little better, uh, and then the Knights can get things rolling. So Rosenberger will be back to uh, return this one off the foot of uh, Griffin Price. And Price measures it out here, uh, stepping it off carefully. And a bounding kick, uh, an opportunity here with a live ball, and the Knights do not get that covered. It looks like uh, the Washington Patriots may have gotten down there and recovered that live ball. And, in fact, I believe they did. Something between a squib and an onside kick there. Very well executed, and uh, Preston didn't really see that coming. So now Washington back in business here, first and ten. And the Patriots. Trying to go to work in an immediate flag for a procedure penalty. So a false start by the Patriots will make it first and 15. And the ball uh, will go from the... Uh, 28 back out over the 30 to about the uh, 33 and a half yard line. Initial stop made by number 
Aiden Bischoff with the stop on the play. And the clock continuing to wind as uh, the Patriots face a second and 12 now. The loose ball will uh, back Washington up a little further. And now it goes from a situation where they want points to a situation where they just want to take as much time off the clock as they possibly can here and then get to the locker room to make some adjustments. So third and 25. And a nice tackle on the near side. Coming this way, Aiden Bischoff cuts through all the uh, blockers there and cuts through all the chatter and just does what he does best, and that's make great form tackles. Fourth and 25, and the Knights get in there and try to put some pressure in a short kick. We'll leave that ball uh, dead at around the Preston 45-yard line. So nice with a first and 10 here, trying to get something going, get over midfield and get into scoring position here. Not a whole lot of time to traverse the distance here. So we may look for Coach Tennant to pull um, a potential big play out of the bag here. Open man, that's Rosenberger, and he is going to take it to the house. Colton Rosenberger with about as nice a break on the uh, route, got some space, and a good pass laid out there for him by uh, Trevor Thomas, and that ball taken in stride and taken all the way to the end zone on the south end of the Knights Stadium here. And the Knights have tied it up six all. Wanted a big play, got a big play. And Knight fans excited about that. And the ball down, the kick is up and that kick is good and Preston Takes the lead by one, seven to six. With about a minute and 11 seconds. Remaining on the first half clock, Preston comes from uh, six down to go one up. With a big second down play. And uh, again, we felt like timing was just a little bit off at the uh, beginning of this one uh, between Thomas and his receivers. And uh, the primary receiver this evening has been Rosenberger. And uh, Colton Rosenberger, again, ran that route exactly the way uh, uh, the coaches wanted him to, created some space, got the right matchup, and uh, Thomas put the ball right in his hands for the go-ahead score. Right, 
Now the question will be, do the Knights kick it away here? And I believe uh, that they probably will. We saw a little bit of trickeration on the part of uh, Washington. Preston going to put a squib kick out there, taken by number 14 for Washington near the uh, 41-yard line. And that is uh, Cody Grove with uh, a nice return for the Washington Patriots. He'll get that ball out over the 45 and uh, on to about the 47 where it'll be first and 10. Washington with uh, just about a minute to work with here. Quick pass to the right and nice open field tackle across the way there. Brought down by number 84, Zach Ripple. Pick up of about five, second and five. White hat, Sean. Four, the ball carrier. Flag on the play. Flag will stop the clock at about the 36 second mark. False start against the Patriots. And the Patriots with that false start will march it back five. So now it'll be second and 10. Washington, quickly to the line now. And trying to create some running space and rip down is a moray right along the 45 yard line. Brought down by number 33, Aiden Bischoff. Number 18, Devin Nunn. Bischoff with a uh, big tackle there to ground uh, Amore's chances for another big run here in the first half. So we'll come out of this timeout with 17.2 uh, on the big board and uh, Preston needs a good defensive stop right here. Amore back, and he's going to be spun around and then brought down back inside the 40 at the 35. And the clock is going to continue to wind on down, and the Knights are going to come out of the first half of this one and go into the halftime locker room with a 7-6 advantage here. Officials talking something over, but they wave to the clock operator and say, yes, indeed, it is halftime. So halftime on the mountaintop here in Kingwood. And it's a happy group of Preston Knights uh, taking off for the locker room right now uh, as they fought back, uh, overcame some adversity, and uh, got back on top of this one. Uh, slim 7-6 to six lead, a good contest uh, here, a good tussle with our uh, friends from Jefferson County. And uh, Washington High will uh, head off the locker room as well. We'll take this break and be back with some halftime highlights after these messages from the fine folks that bring you Preston Knight Varsity Football all year long on Hometown TV. 
From humble beginnings, Stone Paving has emerged as one of the premier paving companies in the region. Stone Paving has been doing business for nearly 20 years and provides asphalt paving services to residential, commercial, and highway customers. They're pre-qualified with the West Virginia Department of Highways and have a history of meeting the most demanding schedules. Stone Paving has equipment and personnel that can complete any project, and they're committed to providing quality service at a competitive price. When you're planning your next project, call Stone Paving. The Wound Care Center at Preston Memorial Hospital is dedicated to helping you heal as quickly as possible. We offer a wide range of diagnostic services and therapies to help not only heal your wounds, but to help prevent further wound problems. Our compassionate team will evaluate your case and work to educate you on why you have a non-healing wound, as well as create a treatment plan, sometimes as often as your first visit. To begin your healing journey, call our Wound Healing Center today to schedule an appointment at 304-329-3348. Hut one, hut two, hut three. Fuck! What do you think you're doing? I'm just trying to teach these ladies how to play football. You leave those girls alone and get back to work. But they want to play. Hi, Buck. You better get in there and get my winter treads on and check my brakes and change the oil. We have to get to the Preston High football game, you fool. Rainbow Tire, the tire lady takes care of me. Become part of the family at Preston Family Pharmacy. It's not just their name, it's their philosophy. They treat you like family. Whether you've just left the hospital or a routine checkup, make Preston Family Pharmacy your neighborhood pharmacy your next stop. The friendly professional staff at Preston Family Pharmacy will make sure that you get the time and attention you deserve for all your pharmacy needs. Preston Family Pharmacy is currently accepting all patients. Preston Family Pharmacy, Route 7 across from Walmart, Kingwood. They'll take care of you like family. Brown's Mill Grocery invites you to stop by for anything you might need. If you're looking for a quick bite, Brown's Mill has buffet-style pizza, fresh subs, and cold drinks. Fill up your tank and your car's tank, too, with quality gasoline. Snacks, cold drinks, gasoline, anything you might need, you'll find at Brown's Mill Grocery. Brown's Mill Grocery at the corner of the Dogtown Road and Route 92. We look forward to seeing you soon at Brown. Hi, Kent and Melissa with Dell and his Furniture. For nearly 50 years, our family store has been known for low prices, great customer service, and quality home furnishings. Our nationwide low price guarantee means you'll save more on name brands like Catnapper, Best, Von Bassett, Serta, Franklin, and the Almost Heaven Mattress Collection made right here in West Virginia. If you want to spend more at an overpriced big furniture store, that's your business. But at Delano's, our business is to save you money. So come in and see for yourself and experience the, the Delano's, Delano's difference. difference.
gentlemen, the second runner-up to the king is Mr. Colton Rosenberger. Ladies and gentlemen, first runner up to the king, Mr. Hunter Lamb. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2019 homecoming king is Mr. Jesse Gribble. Congratulations to everyone who made it for the 2019 homecoming court. Preston Memorial Hospital welcomes Dr. Michael Forkrin to our team. Dr. Forkrin is a general surgery specialist that graduated with honors from West Virginia University School of Medicine. Having more than eight years of diverse experience, Dr. Forkrin performs advanced laparoscopic procedures of the abdomen, including gallbladder, stomach, bowel, colon, liver, and pancreas. Dr. Forkrin also performs endoscopies in our state-of-the-art endoscopy suite. Appointments are available now by calling 304-329-4701. From humble beginnings, Stone Paving has emerged as one of the premier paving companies in the region. Stone Paving has been doing business for nearly 20 years and provides asphalt paving services to residential, commercial, and highway customers. They're pre-qualified with the West Virginia Department of Highways and have a history of meeting the most demanding schedules. Stone Paving has equipment and personnel that can complete any project, and they're committed to providing quality service at a competitive price. When you're planning your next project, call Stone Paving. Become part of the family at Preston Family Pharmacy. It's not just their name, it's their philosophy. They treat you like family. Whether you've just left the hospital or a routine checkup, make Preston Family Pharmacy your neighborhood pharmacy your next stop. The friendly professional staff at Preston Family Pharmacy will make sure that you get the time and attention you deserve for all your pharmacy needs. Preston Family Pharmacy is currently accepting all patients. Preston Family Pharmacy, Route 7 across from Walmart, Kingwood. They'll take care of you like family. Hi, Kent and Melissa with Dell Owners Furniture. For nearly 50 years, our family store has been known for low prices, great customer service, and quality home furnishings. Our nationwide low price guarantee means you'll save more on name brands like Catnapper, 
Best. Von Bassett. Serta. Franklin. And the Almost Heaven mattress collection made right here in West Virginia. If you want to spend more at an overpriced big furniture store, that's your business. But at Delano's, our business is to save you money. So come in and see for yourself and experience the, the Delano's, Delano's difference. difference. Back in Kingwood where the Knights are set to take the opening kick of the second half here and see what they can do with it. After taking a 7-6 come from behind uh, advantage into the locker room. So Preston comes out here. Uh, very nice uh, homecoming festivities on the mountain. Uh, but a short cycle in the locker room. And they made their quick adjustments and uh, they'll get things underway here. We got a flag across the way. And that ball, I believe, out of bounds. And so first and 10 for Preston from the 35 to get things going here in the second half. And it's a quick start for the Knights. Townsend with the carry and Preston off and running on the mountaintop here. Getting things going in fine style. And that run will set up a first and goal. Thomas with the quarterback keeper unable to get it uh, moved forward there into the uh, end zone. Brings up a second and goal from about the three. And Washington rearing up on defense here. Brings up third down for the Knights. So Trevor Thomas not having much luck. Uh, advancing that ball. Third and goal now for the Knights. And the handoff and into the end zone. J.J. Townsend with the score. And Preston extends that lead. With the blocked kick, that'll make the score 13 to six. And Preston. Extending that halftime lead in fine fashion. Big plays, the name of the game for Preston right now.
Knights will take the field, set to kick off here for the first time in this second half. And it's a quick turnaround. Still 10-21 remaining. On the game clock. Again, they put it on the ground and that ball bouncing around and gathered up there by the Patriots. So the Knights electing to take a chance. And that'll give Washington uh, excellent field position at the 40 yard line as the Patriots uh, will set up first and 10. Battle being waged along the line of scrimmage for dominance here. Both of these teams uh, trying to assert themselves along the line and gain some uh, advantage, get some dominance, and uh, playing a pretty even contest uh, except for the big plays uh, going either way. Second down and about two and uh, pushing forward over the 50 down to the 45 yard line and it looks like Washington will pick up the first down despite the best efforts of Aiden Bischoff. Amore on the run, far side. Knights do a pretty good job stringing that one out to the uh, perimeter and uh, out of bounds right in front of the Washington bench. Second down and about 12 yards to go after the stop. And immediately flags flying. Penalty will be against the Knights uh, for encroachment. So a five yard gain there. Second, about seven. And again, just trying to move the stack. Pickup of about three total yards on the play. So we'll make it third and four here for Washington. And oh, a little break, little breakout off the near side, and the Patriots are going to put one in the tank here. 
Touchdown for the Washington Patriots and no laundry on the field. Looks like that will stand. Attempt is imminent for the extra point here. And the officials waving it off. All right, Preston. Tag for the encroachment once again that's twice on this drive and that'll move the ball a little closer and uh, change the strategy a bit uh, I believe for the uh, Washington Patriots they're going to go for two now as they uh, hustle in a, a plethora of subs and uh, get that kicker back out now they're going to try to run this one and will run this one into the south end zone And that will seesaw the lead back out to uh, a one-point advantage for Washington, 14-13. So a couple of mistakes, uh, unfortunately, uh, for the Knights of the, the mental variety uh, or a little over-eagerness, and they... Uh, they got offsides a couple of times there, and it, it cost them uh, uh, no more so than uh, turning that uh, what would have been uh, extra point kick attempt uh, into a try for two uh, that was converted. Lewis and Rosenberger back deep for uh, Preston. And let's see what uh, the Washington Patriots may have up their sleeve here. We've seen a lot of squib kicking, uh, sort of onside or onside like. Kicks from both sides here, and it looks like, oh, no, they're going to kick it away this time. And that ball is going to go out of bounds over on the far side, which will be beneficial for uh, the Preston Knights. Penalty against the Patriots will bring the ball back out to the 35, and we know what happened the last time the Knights had the ball at the 35. Didn't take but a uh, couple of snaps, and uh, they got that ball downfield and uh, into the end zone quickly. Need uh, perhaps another uh, big start to a drive here. See if they can get uh, more points on the board in uh, workmanlike fashion. Rolling down the sidelines, Townsend for a first down and more. Immediate whistle. Could be a timeout. Timeout called, I believe, by the Patriots across the way before uh, before the Knights could get that play off. Uh, something they want to discuss over there on the far side. They're going to talk it over.
Knights trying to get uh, a sustained drive going here. Uh, we don't mind if a big play gets in the way every now and again. <laughs> and I'm sure Coach Tennant uh, happy with the offensive outburst that uh, Preston has shown here this evening and the way they have responded to uh, what adversity has, uh, has come their way uh, in the contest. 14-13 with uh, the midpoint of the third period approaching. And Preston in a very competitive situation here with the uh, two and four Washington High Patriots. Uh, again, this team playing uh, in, in the conference they're in over in the Eastern Panhandle, uh, familiar with uh, Jefferson, familiar with uh, Martinsburg, familiar with a lot of good Virginia teams and uh, Northern Maryland teams uh, that uh, that they get the opportunity to play against. Um, one of their big nights was a 50 to nothing outing um, against a Hedgesville team that's down on their luck this season. But uh, here tonight, uh, I don't think they expected the Knights to come as loaded for bear as they uh, as they have. Townsend with another nice run to the near side. And brought down just short of the uh, sideline there, so the clock will keep turning. And the Knights hopefully can keep things rolling along here. Thomas give to the second man. And the Knights will go inside the 30-yard line. Going to the wide side of the formation that time, and uh, Townsend with the carry. And he is pounding it. It'll be a third down now. Third and about five, so a middle distance situation here. And we'll see what. Uh, we'll see what the Knights bring to the table here on third and five. Thomas back, option to the near side, gonna throw that ball incomplete. Thomas' pass is incomplete, intended for number 14, Colton Rosenberger. Rosenberger not able to connect that time with uh, his quarterback. That'll bring up a fourth down, and the Knights looking to go here on fourth and five. And yeah, they'll be turned away. Thomas' pass is incomplete, intended for number 20, Jackson Lewis. So with just over five and a half to go in the third period. The Knights turned away here, but uh, hopeful of uh, bottling Washington up and uh, making a big defensive play. Yeah, 
Bradbury Ball Carrier. This will stop made by number 16, Carter Lance. Good pursuit by uh, Lance and a host of Knights. And uh, Preston getting from the backside of that play. Uh, a good run and a good opportunity to short circuit things before they got rolling there for Washington. It'll bring up second down and nine after a gain of one. Amore pushing forward into the uh, middle of the line there. Got up behind the center and uh, trying to sneak that one forward. Pickup of about four. Washington trying to get uh, Preston on a hard count. Now a completed pass. First down, the uh, reception by number 36 for uh, Washington, I believe. I'm looking at my uh, my. Looking at my roster, don't see that number. But in any event, a first and 10. And the Knights trying to get a quick jump on the play, and it's going to be a more a running away from it. More ball down number 14. Rosenberger. Rosenberger with the stop, but that's after a gain uh, of about 12 on the play. And the Knights get the advantage of the penalty. The hold will walk it back, back over midfield. And... The officials have been busy this evening. This contest has featured a lot of laundry on the field. Clock winding at uh, 310. As the Patriots come up over the ball facing uh, first and 10 now. And the Knights will rise up in a tackle for loss here. Bradbury ball carrier brought down by number 18, Devin Knotts. Knotts with a nicely timed play there. And with the Patriots clinging to a 14 13 advantage, the Knights would like nothing more than to get a stop here late in this third period, particularly uh, on this side of midfield. Rolled out of bounds across the way. To Washington will face a third and long here. Long of about 20. To try and get a first down. Moore's pass is incomplete. Jennifer Terrence. 
Jones brings up a fourth down for the Patriots. And the incomplete pass leaving Washington in something of a pickle. So they'll be forced to punt. And Rosenberger back all alone. Set to take the high spiraling kick that's going to bound down, take a an initial Preston bounce and then be downed by a Patriot at the 35-yard line. So the Knights back in familiar territory. With two minutes remaining here in this third period. coming over to uh, converse on some point here. Not sure exactly what they're looking at. Rosenberger with a pickup of about two on first down. That'll bring up a second and eight. And one of the officials over here working with the trainer. Townsend pounding ahead. He'll get the line of gain. Townsend has been a workhorse tonight for Preston. off with the carry and uh, one of the officials getting taped up over here by the trainer. Preston will bring a man wide to the near side. Townsend back. Delayed handoff and rumbling ahead. Clock stops momentarily uh, for the first down, and then they'll wind it. And before the Knights get another play off, we come to the end of three. So with three in the book, the Washington Patriots hold a slim 14-13 advantage over your hard-charging Preston Knights who are working on getting that ball back in the end zone. And that will happen when we come back right after these messages here on Hometown TV. One, hut two, hut three. Buck! What do you think you're doing? I'm just trying to teach these ladies how to play football. You leave those girls alone and get back to work. But they want to play. Hi, Buck! You better get in there and get my winter treads on and check my brakes and change the oil. We have to get to the Preston High football game, you fool. Rainbow Tire, the tire lady takes care of me. 
Brown's Mill Grocery invites you to stop by for anything you might need. If you're looking for a quick bite, Brown's Mill has buffet-style pizza, fresh subs, and cold drinks. Fill up your tank and your car's tank, too, with quality gasoline. Snacks, cold drinks, gasoline, anything you might need, you'll find at Brown's Mill Grocery. Brown's Mill Grocery at the corner of the Dogtown Road and Route 92. We look forward to seeing you soon at Brown's Mill Grocery. Preston Memorial Hospital offers four locations in Preston County to complete your laboratory tests. Our friendly, qualified staff is happy to serve you in Kingwood, Reedsville, Fellowsville, and now our newest location in Brewston Mills at the Brewston Mills Medical Center, where no appointment is necessary as walk-ins are welcome on Mondays from 7 to 5, Tuesdays through Thursday from 7 to 3.30 and 7 to 11 on Fridays. For directions or questions, give us a call at 304-379-1103. From humble beginnings, Stone Paving has emerged as one of the premier paving companies in the region. Stone Paving has been doing business for nearly 20 years and provides asphalt paving services to residential, commercial, and highway customers. They're pre-qualified with the West Virginia Department of Highways and have a history of meeting the most demanding schedules. Stone Paving has equipment and personnel that can complete any project and they're committed to providing quality service at a competitive price. When you're planning your next project, call Stone Paving. Become part of the family at Preston Family Pharmacy. It's not just their name, it's their philosophy. They treat you like family. Whether you've just left the hospital or a routine checkup, make Preston Family Pharmacy your neighborhood pharmacy your next stop. The friendly professional staff at Preston Family Pharmacy will make sure that you get the time and attention you deserve for all your pharmacy needs. Preston Family Pharmacy is currently accepting all patients. Preston Family Pharmacy, Route 7 across from Walmart, Kingwood. They'll take care of you like family. Hi, Kent and Melissa with Dell Owners Furniture. For nearly 50 years, our family store has been known for low prices, great customer service, and quality home furnishings. Our nationwide low price guarantee means you'll save more on name brands like Catnapper, Best, Von Bassett, Serta, Franklin, and the Almost Heaven Mattress Collection made right here in West Virginia. If you want to spend more at an overpriced big furniture store, that's your business. But at Delano's, our business is to save you money. So come in and see for yourself and experience the, the Delano's, Delano's difference. difference fourth quarter set to get underway here as uh, these two teams battling mightily here at night stadium uh, both of them admittedly down a little bit this season in Preston looking for their second victory the Patriots looking for uh, win number three on the year um, and, and looking to get the final third of the season started in good style but uh, for Preston Doubly important that they, uh, they overcome uh, some of the adversity that has uh, they've met with uh, in the last few weeks. Played some of the finer teams uh, in the state. Hard, hard night up at Bridgeport um, against a, a phenomenal sophomore quarterback um, who really kind of schooled the Knights a bit. Whistles as a, the ball gets loose on the plane. The Knights will recover it. Brings up a third and 11 for Preston as they break the huddle. 
looking into the uh, south end zone here. And Thomas with a hitch. And then he tries to go to uh, Rosenberger, and that is going to be broken up. Rosenberger with a nice little cross route there. Worked himself into position, a uh, little pump fake. And then uh, the attempt just wide of the mark. And that will bring up fourth down and 12, and it's uh, definitely – four down territory here for the Knights. They take a look at the Washington defense and uh, timeout taken. So Preston will face a fourth and 12 when the Knights break uh, out of the timeout here. And coming out of that timeout, uh, they look at just how close they are here to the red zone and to some points uh, and getting back on top of this one. Uh, I'm not sure what uh, John Tennant may have uh, looked at. and may pull out of the playbook here, but uh, when Preston has needed a big play, they've had something diagrammed and, and executed it uh, right. Deep and into the end zone, touchdown, Preston Knights. Jackson Lewis gets free. Double coverage drawn by Rosenberger on the play. Allowed Lewis to get behind everybody and get it in the end zone. Went up, uh, climbed the ladder nicely to get that ball. Preston will go for two. And with the conversion, the Knights put their 21st point on the board. And Tahoki with the catch, and it's a 21-14 Preston lead now. They overcome the uh, failed extra points. They overcome uh, the uh, penalties. They overcome shooting themselves in the foot a couple of times to come up with two big plays, one to the right corner, one to the left side of the end zone, and uh, put eight points on the board here and put themselves in good position with 10 minutes and 36 seconds remaining in regulation. They... Uh, stake themselves to an opportunity here now if the defense can come out, play strong, and uh, eliminate uh, any of Washington's tendencies toward big running plays. Uh, the Knights, with a shutdown here, could have an opportunity to uh, get a little closer to getting win number two in the books. You would have to believe that the Knights will kick this ball away, but at the same time, um, respectful of the abilities of uh, these Washington Patriot speedsters that are back there to receive. Thomas with the kick, and they're going to put that one high in the air. Comes down, spiraling at the 15-yard line. 
taken there and uh, running like a man possessed up over the 30 to the 35 and out to the 39 yard line. There is a flag. Patriot fans none too happy with the holding call. As they voice their displeasure down below our broadcast position. And that will back things up inside the 30 to the 28-yard uh, line, 28 and a half, where uh, they will have a first and 10. Crossing pattern to the near side. Taken there and bringing that ball back out over the 35, out to the 37-yard uh, line, and that'll bring up a second and short, second down and about a yard to go. Quick little swing out to the right and getting ahead for the first down. They move the sticks and wind the clock. And it's a fresh set of downs here for the Patriots. As they go to work. Trying to get, trying to get that ball over midfield and uh, going downhill. Host of Knights in the backfield. And finally, Jones brought down back around the 35-yard line after a Herculean effort to shrug off tacklers. And we've got a night down, so the players will uh, head off to the side and the trainers out there taking a look at Hunter Lance. And Lance down for a moment, but back on his feet. Good to see under his own power. He'll come to the near side, and I think the trainers will probably check him out uh, a little more thoroughly. And those who know Hunter know that he'll be uh, anxious to get back on the field here. Looks like he's a little bit hobbled on that right leg uh, coming off.
Hawk winds, and it's third and 17 now for the Patriots. Fourth pass is incomplete. Brings up fourth down. The incomplete pass will force the Patriots into a punting situation here. Fourth down and uh, deep in their own territory. Well struck and a bounding ball taken on the, the second hop by Rosenberger who fights uh, Passed a block uh, through the first tackle and a uh, pretty good return out over the 30-yard line. Out to about the 34 goes Rosenberger before he is tackled. So the Knights again with a decent field position to start uh, a drive here that hopefully is one they can sustain and take some time off this clock and really put some uh, pressure. Dive forward. Townsend with the ball out to about the 35 and that'll bring up a second down. Second and a long nine. Split backs for Thomas. And Washington not even pretending. They just put nine guys in the box. And the tackle for loss pushes the Knights back. Loss of about three on the play, and it'll be third and 11 now. And Preston with the clock winding at the seven-minute mark here. We'll send Thomas scrambling, coming to the near side, throwing that ball on the run. So Thomas to Brendan Pachoki. Big first down. No, check that. Fourth and three. Fourth and three. Not quite the line of gain. And so the Knights are going to take a timeout here in the action with six minutes and 13 seconds remaining in regulation. And the Knights facing a fourth down here. Just short of midfield. And they will look to pull something out of the bag one more time here. Because a big first down would help immeasurably in their quest to uh, hang on to this lead. So quick timeout, and Preston back to the field. Ready to go on fourth down. 
And rumbling forward. And Preston with a big pick up there. On their own side of the 50. Needed three, got about three and three quarters yards there. Just enough. And they keep the drive alive, keep the clock turning, keep the ball moving here on their quest to hold this lead. Townsend, the go-to. Second and just short of 10 yards. Thomas up under center. And the handoff and this time losing about a half a yard. So again, timeout. 4.45 remaining here on the mountaintop in regulation, and we thank you once again for tuning in wherever you might be on the Atlantic Broadband Cable Network, out there on the Internet, uh, wherever you're watching Preston Knight Varsity Football, your hometown TV station. Happy to bring it to you, as always, and uh, this the next to last broadcast uh, of our regular season uh, home games here uh, for the 2019 varsity football season. University High coming to town next week. Folks, you got to get out here. Uh, win, lose, or draw. You got you to give this team some love and support. Just a little long, the ball incomplete. Intended on the play uh, for Jackson Lewis, but uh, let's see what the flag is, because that came back around the line of scrimmage and uh, could be a hold, could be and is against the Knights. And it's big yardage uh, from the standpoint of the hold. However, it's a redo of third down for the Knights, and uh, that all important. Opportunity for uh, Thomas to maybe get another ball in the air here and uh, overcome the 18 yards needed on third down. And more laundry on the field. And this one in the backfield and there are a couple of them. So that will stop the clock with just over four and a half remaining. And 
Back the officials come. And they'll march that ball up to about the 44-yard line. Thomas from the shotgun. <laughs> Thomas's pass is complete. Colton Rosenberger, and I think he had to fight for about 20 seconds to get that ball or to secure it. Double covered on the play uh, at the end of it there. And a battle for it on the ground. And Rosenberger puts it away. Big, big catch. First and 10 for the Knights at the 15-yard line. And they have got Washington backed up against the wall now. Hard running to the near side. Number 33, Aiden Bischoff. Bischoff with the carry, and uh, he'll go inside the 15. And a Washington Patriot down on the play. Which stops the clock with 3.38 remaining. And the young man up and under his own power headed off uh, across the way. And I believe that was uh, big number 67, Fleetwood White. Who, uh, got rolled up on there. So the gain was two. It'll be second and eight as the Knights come up to the line here from the injury timeout. Wide out to the left. Two men in the backfield with uh, Thomas. Three men in the backfield. Thomas up under center. Gribble again with the carry, and he's going to be stopped short of the 15-yard line, and that will bring up third down. Washington will take the timeout with uh, 258 remaining. And the Knights right here facing a third and eight. Don't need to do anything uh, too crazy. But they would definitely uh, like to not just take a minute or so off the clock. They'd like to uh, put some more points on the board here if possible. 
definitely push for that uh, first down that's just eight yards away. Get in close there and uh, try to pound this ball over the goal line and uh, make a statement uh, a little bit here this evening uh, on homecoming night in Kingwood. The incomplete pass will bring up a fourth down. So it's fourth and eight now. Ball on the 13 yard line. And the Knights uh, will come out here and try one more time to pull something out of the bag. Thomas going over the middle, and again, it's incomplete. Sharp pass down to the goal line there. That'll bring up a first down for the Washington Patriots with two minutes and 48 seconds remaining. The Knights leading 21 to 14 now must uh, calm their nerves and, and again put some steel in their uh, spines and stand strong here. This Patriot team capable of big plays. Can't let that happen. Can't let them get behind you. They're going to come out throwing uh, possibly. Pick up the first down for the Patriots. Four on the carry. Brought down at number 75, Robbie Stinson. Stinson with a nice stop there. And that'll bring up second down. Second and a long eight. And again, a sharp pass out over the 30 onto the 35. Brings up a third down for the Patriots. So now third down as that one is a drop, says the official. A big third and a long eight for Washington. Preston charged with the offside. Quick pass on the far side over there and struggling forward to get the first down. So it'll be another first and ten as we go inside the two-minute mark. And the Patriots will re-rack here. Good pursuit on the sprint to the near side. And the pass incomplete.
And the officials waving off play. Dead ball, false start, says the official. And that brings a chorus of Boo Birds out from the uh, Patriot fans. Second and 15 now. And again, another flag. So the trouble continuing to build for Washington here. And the officials drawing the ire of the visiting crowd. Knight fan base taking it in, just kind of sitting on their hands right now. A little quiet. The incomplete pass will bring up third and 15 now for Washington. Still a lot of time at uh, 128. One twenty-eight left on the big clock. A break away on the far side. The board pass is complete for the Patriots first down. Patriots with a huge first down at the 117 mark. And that's going to move the ball over midfield and all the way down as they stretch the chains here. Inside the 30-yard uh, line with a minute 17 remaining, and the Knights will take a timeout here. Had things going pretty well, did the Preston defense, with a little help from uh, mental mistakes made uh, by the Patriots, and they really had backed themselves into a corner here. Uh, with a big third and 15, and they're able to convert and then some, taking that ball over the 35 down inside the 30-yard line, and uh, with a minute 17 in which to work, the Knights holding on to this 7-point, 21-14 advantage with everything they've got in them. So we return to play first and 10 for Washington. And the Patriots quickly to the line here. Scrambling and looking for a receiver anywhere, and finally that ball thrown away. So that'll bring up second and ten now. 
stopping the clock with a minute five. Knight defenders uh, back there on the back line. Got to keep their wits about them. Now the penalty looks to be against Preston. So the pass interference call. We'll move that ball from the 29 and a half down near the 10 yard line. Well, they'll make it the 14. Incomplete pass will bring up second down. Ford has third down. Host of Knights on the tackle. Bischoff with the tackle, and now the Patriots got to go quick. And quick they do go. The pass incomplete will bring up fourth. And about 26 seconds remaining on the clock. So it's a last gasp effort here on fourth and about nine. As they get set to go. And the pass incomplete. So Preston will take over. First down with about 19 seconds remaining. And they can put this one in the win column. Long time coming for this team that has struggled mightily through some tough experiences and tough games this season. And to put one uh, in the win column as they come back here for homecoming tonight is just something that is a huge, huge victory for Preston. A 21-14 win. They pick up victory number two on the season against uh, five losses. And Preston will head off happy for the uh, homecoming festivities yet to come. Uh, the Knights 
with a great defensive effort at the end of this one with their backs against the wall, turn the Washington Patriots away and send them back to Jefferson County um, to be seen no more this season on the mountaintop. And now Preston will have a week in which to get ready for a resurgent University High Hawk team. Down a little bit this season, but coming back. John Kelly doesn't, uh, doesn't let his team off the hook. And uh, they have been playing well of late. Not sure where they're at this evening uh, in terms of winning or losing, but they'll be in Preston County next week. And you should be here for that contest. It'll be the final homestand of the season as the Knights will finish out with two road games at Buchanan and Brook. But uh, before that, the big University High Hawk uh, get together here in Kingwood this year. That'll be a great one. We'll be here, but uh, come out, watch it in person, cheer this team on, and uh, see if they can get an upset victory to finish out the homestand. We thank you for tuning in for everybody uh, here at Hometown TV. We want to say uh, we appreciate you folks so much. Uh, we appreciate the sponsors that bring you these contests all season long. And uh, as we get ready to say goodnight, we just say uh, God bless and go Knights. And we'll see you when we see you next time as they cheer at midfield this 21-14 victory for the Preston Knights. And for now, good evening.